I need somebody to tell me what one thing surprised them the most or what their takeaway is. Um, so who wants to go first? Who wants to talk about the book? Jennifer, you want to go first? <laughs> um, what surprised me the most? Um, it was, I thought it was a fabulous book, of course. And um, I just finished reading it just a couple hours ago. So it's oh boy. still quite fresh, I guess. And um, but um, uh, I just I'm loved how <laughs> the, the transition was. Yeah, I mean, it didn't surprise me, I guess. It did, but it, it just the transition um, of the of the whole thing. I thought it was great how you um, just wove the story into the, the White House and all. I'm glad that you felt that way because it was, it did feel like a weave job because it was like trying to bring the past 16, 17 books and then kind of like into this new setting with the same characters. And, you know, it just, um, it was a lot to make sure that everybody was represented, you know, everybody, um, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of comments this week about, oh, I was so glad that say like, you know, Shelby, there's going to be a place for her. There's going to be a place for Celia. There's going to be a place for, um, you know, for, um, the various characters that you guys already loved, you know? So that was really yes. important to me that we didn't lose anybody off the scene, you know? So yes. who else has uh, comments, feedback, thoughts they want to share? I was just you know, the there wasn't a bigger fight between her and Secret Service on her detail. <laughs> you thought it would be a bigger fight? Absolutely. Hmm. Well, she's a pain, right? So we know this about her. Um, I thought it was a, a, a really pivotal moment when um, she came home after the siege at Gigi's mother's house and she knew that he was gonna be really upset with her. And um, the way that they worked that out and, um, you know, and he, he made, she made him, he made her promise. And I think that's gonna come back to, that's gonna come back around. They're gonna, we're gonna hear more about that, I think, you know. Um, it's gonna be a constant struggle for them to reconcile his work, her work. You know, so, but yeah, like Vernon, I really like Vernon's character. I like that he's sarcastic um, and that he meets sarcasm with sarcasm. <laughs> right. right. Sam respects that in a, in a fellow uh, law enforcement officer and in a, in a fellow human being, she respects sarcasm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm glad that you, but, you know, I agree, like the, the secret service part was, you know, and as I'm reading, um, I'm rereading the series right now, and I'm to the point where um, she's been given Secret Service, or they've been given Secret Service, um, right at the point where um, Arnie Patterson goes crazy and, you know, and all of that. And, and I'm thinking to myself, like, yeah, well, she's had to put up with it before, you know, so um, she's going to have to man up here, quote unquote, <laughs> and uh, deal with it. So, but I liked that Nick said to her, if you really don't think you can do it, I'll just step okay. aside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we all know that he, he is fresh out of FUs, you know? He's just like, <laughs> he's like, how did this even happen? <laughs> so, well, thank you for that. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And believe me, like everybody's, the input this week has been, so I'm never gonna catch up. My email is a swamp and I'm never gonna ever be not in uh in um, email hell. So Martina um, has a comment. She's raised her hand. It's so cute that you could do that. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. And Where of are you course, tonight? I, I am in Florida. Okay. And uh, I absolutely love all of your books. And, oh, thank you. you know, one of the really great surprises for me was that Sam did ask Celia to move in with them. And as I'm saying it, I'm tearing up. I was Aww. blubbering mess. I was listening in my car, sitting at a red light, people looking at me like, what's wrong with that woman? <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so funny. Well, you know, Celia, I, I kind of, I have to say I took a page from Michelle Obama's book uh, because I don't I know if everyone's aware of the fact that um, when he became president, they still had two very young children and she asked her mother to come with them. And she made the move from Chicago and lived at the White House with them. So like whenever they were away, they had, you know, a, a parent figure there to kind of keep things normal for them, which really um, helped. So 
Um, I, I read the part of becoming uh, Michelle Obama's book, just the part about the White House years, because it was the most recent memoir of some of a young family in the White House, you know. Um, so I only read that part of her book. I have the rest, but I only read that part and it was really helpful. And um, the idea to invite Celia came from that. So, so the history repeating itself there a little bit. So, and I really, it was nice to be able to find a way to keep her on the landscape now that Skip is not, you know, so, but I'm glad that it made you, it made her blubber too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love their relationship. I love that she's sort of like become almost like a mother to Sam, even though Sam has a mother, they're not close. And so she and Celia are. So yeah, I like that. So thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for reading this week. I appreciate it. Everybody, you guys really like um, people who are coming in later might not have heard me say this was a record breaking release week. All the others I, I said to my um, colleagues today, I'm a little concerned that the others are going to be kind of blah after this because <laughs> this one was so awesome. So um, they're all great, though, but this one was bonkers great. So um, thank you for that. Um, who else has something? Oh, we've got let's see Tori. I see Tori. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to say, don't worry about the next ones not doing as well, because <laughs> you ended this one. I just really finished this at 6.52. Yeah. So I, <laughs> um, <laughs> way you end, I, you absolutely can't wait to see what happens. I was very surprised at the end of this one. Well, so, and that was sort of intentional because I'm ooh. trying to live and learn and having a tiny little, a tiny little cliffhanger at the end of Fatal Fraud <laughs> erupted a forest fire in my life. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just think like, you know, having just a little something like, and I, and I only mean like lackluster meaning like, you know, once a, like a, a Gansett Island book, will it ever be as exciting as this one was, you know what I mean? So like, I'm just going to be like, I need everybody who bought State of Affairs to show up on week one for every book from now on. <laughs> so yeah, but I realized that there's a definite relationship the readers have with Sam and Nick over low these 11 years since Fatal Affair came out in 2010, which is now 11 years ago, if you can believe that mm -hmm. um so yeah there's a relationship there and i know that that helps to fuel the excitement for um for their new books so i appreciate that so much i really do and you guys are so invested in them and so am i but you guys like sometimes like the countdowns and stuff that are already in the group i mean i start to like when i'm in the corner rocking like this because i only have 278 days until <laughs> state of grace is due out <laughs> so, yeah but anyway so where are you tonight uh york pennsylvania york pennsylvania okay very nice good to have you here who's who else has got something they want to say anything is open we're an open forum tonight you can there's no um restrictions on what we can talk about because well keep it clean it's a family show but um if there's anything you want to talk about having to do with sam and nick the book um what's coming up next um gina um are you unmuted Wait a minute, you're muted. Tia, can you unmute Gina? I did, I actually did. I wasn't sure if I could. Okay, so. where right. are you tonight? First of all, tell me where I you are. I am in Sacramento, California. Oh, welcome, nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. So, I have to say that I'm truly enjoying um, Sam and the Blackberry versus her flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would be a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, she, um, and, and, and the number that he programmed in because he's got to find some fun in this new world that he's living in, you know? Um, yeah. And I like that it's like her bat phone to him, you know? And uh, he, she doesn't have to use it for anything else just to call him. So yes. And then yeah. Freddie, of course, giving her a bad time about it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Carrying two phones now. Yeah. And, right. and the slap of the, of the flip phone is still very critical to her mental health. So yes, I loved it like a recent, I think it was two books ago when it came apart in her hands and she's like, <laughs> yeah, that was the greatest one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's really funny. Um, she's a hot mess. I'm just reading to um, the part where um, they have, they go to the tablets in the car and I realized like, you know, she's kind of dropped that because she wanted nothing to do with it. But that's probably because I wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> so. <Right. laughs> but yeah, I'm realizing some stuff like that. I need to get back in, on the scene, like where they actually, it comes in handy or something, you know? So yeah, well, she yeah. said that, remember, because that's how it started with, with Freddie was saying, hey, that's neat how you can pl plug in the GPS. Yeah. And, and he's like, 
Yeah. <laughs> and he says yeah. she's so happy to have this 20th century um, technology in the 21st century. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that, that was super funny. And then, and then when he's like, "Well, you may have to get a black uh, BlackBerry," and she's like, "That may or may not have already happened." <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> he he did some good work in this book too, of, of what he said about his mom. And um, yeah. I really like. I say that like I didn't write it, but I feel like these char characters are like channeling through me, and they're telling me what to say for them at this point. Um, but I really liked how he kind of pulled that out and like dusted off some of his childhood and said. This is what I remember most, you know, and this is what your children will remember. So yeah, I think I'm really actually just too. what's that? I'm sorry. It really calmed her down too and kind of gave her a sense of peace, I felt, in her world. Yeah, because he was with. raised by a single mother. Yeah. And so, you know, sort of not the same situation, but sort of like, you know, the mom worked a lot and you know, so he could bring that perspective. But um, I'm at the part in um, Fatal Identity right now where she cooks pancakes for everyone and people think she's like got some sort of disease or, you know, <laughs> they're all like, what is happening? You know? so. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for popping in. It was nice you to bet. see you all the way from California. Technology yes. brand. <laughs> I know. Lovely. All right. We've got Winnell up next, it looks like. Um, and Tia's working her magic behind the scenes to let Winnell in. And I see you, Cindy, you'll be up next. <laughs> Let's see. Me? Yep, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm Where from, are you? Uh, Mississippi, Jackson. Oh, okay. Or Madison, Mississippi at that side. We're getting all areas of the US here on this call. <laughs> yes. um, and did you, uh, you enjoyed the book, I hope? I loved the book. I loved, I have loved all the books. I love the way your series keeps the characters and intertwines instead of changing everything um, a lot. And I was thinking earlier when she was talking about the Secret Service, you know, I was really glad that she sort of was okay with it at that time, just because when you think about the fact that she wants Nick to be safe and she wants right. Scotty to be safe right. and the littles to be safe. And, you know, then even though she feels like she's safe, we know <laughs> that sometimes she's not. Right, right. Um, but, you know, I, I hope that that she can work that out. But, um, no, but uh, every so often, like she does come to the realization that she has to give an inch. Yeah. Um, especially because, you know, it, it, she realizes she's making Nick's life difficult and that's not like his life is already difficult enough and she doesn't need to make it worse. And that's really, and I liked too, when she sort of took a minute to, to talk to the agents to say, all right, I know I'm a pain. I know blah, 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 but I get you, I get what you're doing. And, and then for Vernon to remind, to tell her that he comes from a family of law enforcement and uh, federal agents, I thought was important moment for them because you know she certainly understands that legacy mm -hmm. so but I mean I just I really love really I mean, there's just really not enough to say about how great they are we were I literally could listen to it all the time it's really sad so now I know the <laughs> best thing. So sad. and I well the bad part is is I tried to time it this time like I started with the first one and then I was about 20 days off so, uh -oh, I, so you had, I had to do something else so it was really stressful <laughs> to me then I came back to it, but now I know next time about when I can start with the first one to get to the. Page. Well, now you know how fast you read, right? right. Whereas I have to read, I'm doing a reread right now. And I'm like, it took me forever to get through the first six for some reason, but now I'm kind of cruising. So I just because lot, I was busy. I do a lot of listening though, too. I love Audible and I listen um, to them, but now I own every one of them because before there was like a little um it was in that romance group or whatever but anyway I love it I love Scotty I love the puppy I love the whole thank you so much I, I'm so glad you do that makes it so much fun I'll be thinking of you and all of you um when I'm writing the next one and I'm thinking I've got to bring my a game for you guys so <laughs> but the only thing that I and I know you have the widow book coming out but is for um even before that you said that I was thinking that Derek and Ronnie should get together, but I know that may not happen, but that's really what I want. Okay. I'll take that under yeah. advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open up my um, storyline drive-through and I will see what I can do for yes, you. Yes. Yes. I will say that that thought has crossed my mind. I will give you that much. 
but that's all I've got. So and I'm glad he's going to work with him too. That was really great. Yeah. Okay. You got to keep Derek. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big part of he's in, and his expertise is necessary. So yeah. well, well, thank you for joining us tonight. I really appreciate seeing you. Go to the next person. Thanks. Thank you so much. So we've got Cindy up next. Um, mm -hmm. Tia. Tia, can you make me a co-host? Cause I can, I can help with this. <laughs> Okay. I need to be a co-host of my own chat here. <laughs> Figure out how to get my hand off. Oh, there's a heart. There you go. You're fine. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I revoked you. Um, you revoked me. <laughs> All right. So Cindy, <laughs> Cindy, you are up. Cindy Wittol, W-I-T-O-L. Can you hear us? I don't know if she's... We had a bunch of people. Waiting I don't know where they all went to you. <laughs> okay. Raise hand. Okay. Um, looking forward to reader weekend. I am all vaccinated. Yay. I with, will be as of next week. Yes. I was vaccinated with J and J the day that all hell broke loose. Oh no. <laughs> with it. But fortunately I'm older than the group that got blood clots and everything's fine well and i think that's also a case of six out of like how many million i mean there's always going to be yeah. like a small but like i think they did the right anyway they did the right thing took a pause and now they've studied it further and we're good to go but we're good to go. yeah i just cannot tell you this book the way you intertwine plots and subplots and subplots was just absolutely thoroughly incredible Thank and you. Um, a lot of the behind the scenes secret service and all that knowing people who work in the field as actual agents you were spot on you did your homework so so well oh thank you and was thrilled to get my state of affairs gift box that oh, good. I bought myself. Speaking of that, I do have one to give away tonight. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I probably would have forgotten it. And it's all a mess right now because I've um, literally been showing it off all week. Um, so it has this, it has the, the, um, the mug, it has the tumbler that has both series logos on it. It has the um, coconut scented candles for the lock. There's no reason to leave your lighting over there. And it has um, a DC, um, let's see, it has a White House ornament. Which is incredible. Yeah, DC, a White House ornament from the White House Historical Association. It has a couple of notebooks, one for Sam, one for Nick. It has some stickers and I'm gonna break the mug as you can hear in the background. It's got the change of address. And a lot, all of this stuff is sold separately in the store too, if, you, if you're interested in any of it. Um, it's um, the Capuano family's um, change of address um, tote bag. So and I, yeah. have, I have a request, uh, yeah. whatever you use for the t-shirts. Yes. I would love for you to do it in other colors. Okay. It's such high quality and design wise. Okay. It's a lot better than even t-shirts you get at concerts. Just oh. the, wow. the attention to detail, AKA the V-neck, the yes. stuff on both you got sides. It. We'll, we'll take that, I'll it. take that back to the girls and we'll see what we can do. Um, yes, we're getting a lot of requests for t-shirts. So we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Yeah, you thank need, you for you that. need to expand to all of your books. <laughs> Well, we do have, we have merchandise for everything. So, um, right. But, you know, I was just saying that this t-shirt was incredible. I do have the Gansett Island first edition boyfriend night shirt. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. you've been on the scene for a while then. <laughs> yes. Yes. I actually met you three years ago when you do reader, uh, readers thing in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Yep. I know and, what you mean. Yeah. Yep. So I that was just three years ago. Yeah. It was 2018. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it was nice to talk to you. Um, yeah, I want to get a few more people in while we still definitely. have time, but thank you so much. To Readers weekend. June I'll see you there. DC or bust. Woo! Yeah. Woo!
so excited that we're going to get to do this. I really am. Um, it was really funny too. I described it this week when we told people, cause like we've checked with the hotel, we checked with the state of Virginia. We did, we did our homework, you know, and made sure that we were going to be able to pull this off and that there were, you know, it's all about what the state is going to allow us to do. Cause the hotel is in, in Virginia. So we, um, we, once I told people though, that we were going to go for it. It was like, you guys had been like paroled from prison, you know, after <laughs> doing hard time <laughs> and the reservations were it was like chime 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 like, i'm like here they come and it yes. sold out really fast so yes yeah so we're thrilled uh, we're looking forward to it we um missed seeing everyone last year so we're super excited to do it this year and um so yeah um julia you are here from los angeles Yes, I am indeed. <laughs> yeah, you are a big fan of Sam and Nick's, I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julia knows things like um, Angela bought the shoes a half size too small so that they would fit her. Um, and they're too small for Sam, but they fit Angela perfectly. So Julia is a big fan of the sisters. <laughs> yes, big fan. I like that dynamic and the back and forth. And I also liked uh, the fact that Sam gives out hugs freely to Eli as well, you know just uh is a mom to even a grown-up it was yes. uh, very sweet he kind of needed that at a, a couple of times especially when they got the call so yes oh yeah mm. yeah the call at the beginning and then the call at the end <laughs> yeah. um so i think it's going to get interesting uh, between them and eli and um you know what's going to happen with cleo's parents and as i was writing that at the end i was literally giggling a little bit because i'm like oh my god they're gonna freaking kill me for this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I put in the author's note, I promise you I am not going to break anybody's heart, but it's going to get a little, you know, it's going to be a little crazy, but um, I've kind of had that brewing in the back of my mind for a while now that I wanted to bring her parents back in. Um, and of course, you know, it'll be a big spectacle in the press and everything and um, mm -hmm. because, you know, they're in a custody battle and yeah, so yeah. it'll be juicy. <laughs> That's how we like them. <laughs> so, but thanks for coming tonight. It's so nice to see you in person again. <laughs> and I will uh, be talking to you. So we've got um, Lori is here. Do you see Lori? Yes. Hi, Lori. How are you? I am. Am I unmuted? Did I? You are right? unmuted. Where are you located? I am just out, of, out, just outside Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Nice to see you. Well, I have a couple questions. Well, okay. Actually, well, I love the book and I've okay. been a big fan. I think you already know I've been a big fan of Sam and Dick. I do. I recognize your name for sure. <laughs> uh, for a long time. And um, I have a, a stupid question, but it's a question. It back, goes back to when you um, she met with Secret Service, um, the big meeting there with right. the Secret Service. And you, you um, uh, described a woman that was supposed to, that was in the meeting. Um, in the beginning and it, it, I was trying I was, to figure out who it was and I was it um, Deborah or no one? no it was one of the muckety mucks from the secret service it was not it was not anybody you'd met before okay that's no. what I was trying to, I've been trying to figure that out so I thought I would ask if there were no if there it was, was just one of the I people that travels with Ambrose Pierce it was like what part of his entourage you know okay I just wondered if it was somebody that I should remember from no the, from before. no okay no um and I also thought the other thing I was going to ask you was um, now we're talking about like uh, how Eli's or the uh, Leo's family is going to cause trouble. Are we going to see more of Nick's mom? Um, oh, yeah. We have not seen the last of her. No, no, we have not seen the last of her. I was no. I was kind of hoping Avery was going to, you know, find some. Well, stuff. see, here's here's my challenge with this book. OK, the one that we just had. Okay. A lot of shit had to happen in this book a lot. Okay. Uh -huh. So I had to be careful and a little bit judicious about overdoing it and having too much, you know? Right. So I decided that in this book, Avery would just say to Sam, we're working on it, finding some interesting stuff, you know, and like, and that will further develop in upcoming books because I just didn't want to like have so much like that our heads would explode. There was already a lot, you know? Right. No, I, yeah. Yeah. And I was trying to like, 
you know, give you guys the feeling and like myself, as I was writing it, like just the feeling of like, holy, like, like stuff coming at her, like, you know, and like the, the TV interview and the, you know, the, um, the secret service meeting and trying to, you know, then Gigi's family situation. And then, you know, her whole thing with the boyfriend. And, um, I wanted right away, I wanted right away for her new life to interfere with her old life, which is why she got the call in the limo that, you know, Gigi, and she has to call Gonzo and get him out of bed on his wedding night to go deal with that, you know, <laughs> and he, and she can't tell him why, you know? So I wanted that to be like from minute one, like almost minute one, um, it's already getting in her way. Like well, that, was, you, that was very intentional. You, know you had me riveted. You had, you had <laughs> me from, from the minute you had me from the minute go and it was like it, it, it just everything going on and you, you just had me and it was it was it was just like oh my gosh Brie well thank you no, I mean because really my, my intention with that with the whole Gigi storyline was seriously to get Sam into a situation where um she literally couldn't do anything about it because she has to go and 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 sit at the White House and wait for Gloria Nelson to fly here from South Dakota while she's <laughs> can't you just picture her like <laughs> at the white house having a hissy fit because her detective is you know in the hospital and you know she can't do it oh but we've got to wait for for gloria to get here from south dakota <laughs> you know, so. and i do i do love that you brought christina back into the mix as secretary I thought it was I time really um I thought it was time for her to come back on the scene um you know she took a little time off um from the rat race which people do you know when when they become parents even if it because it's untraditionally done like it was for her but I think it was interesting that um you know that it was time for her to come back and and who else would he call on but her so yeah but thank you for such a wonderful book. And, thank you for reading I, it. I appreciate it. I love the in-depth questions too. Like I'm always, I'm like this when you're asking me, cause I'm like, Oh, I hope I know. <laughs> but, but I just, I just wanted to know if I was supposed to remember who that person was. And I'm like, Oh, I gotta ask. Just, nope. I know it's a stupid question, nope. but I just wanted to ask. I just so. wanted him to come in with an entourage that pissed her off, that pissed off Sam, you know? And one of my favorite scenes in the whole book is when she shows up for that meeting and she sees like Lilia looking so perfect. And she says, why can't you be the daytime first lady and I'll be the nighttime first lady and no sex or anything, just, you know, and, he, and she's like, have you had a stroke? You know? so, I mean, that is me. That's like quintessential Sam, you know, that whole point of her having to leave the investigation into Calvin's murder, you know, drive by the house that she needs to go to next so that she can go to La Casa Blanca, which I think is what she's going to call it. Like when she's on the job, you know, she's going to refer to the White House as La Casa Blanca. And, it. you know, she has to drive by the place she needs to go to in order. And I mean, you can just feel her head exploding through the whole thing. So, but Sam has grown up because she's gotten where she's gotten more people she likes. She's grown up, but in the, underneath it all, she's still um, a little bit feral. And that's what we love about her, but. Oh, oh yeah, but I mean, she found more, many more people she likes that she, you know, well, she's a shit friend, you know, I love Yeah, it's like a revolting there. development to her though, you know, that, oh, geez, I'm actually liking people. Um, and she likes Gideon a lot. Um, I'm seeing some comments that people really enjoyed meeting him. Yeah, um, and I, I think he's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, I think he might be like, um, like if you like sex in the city, I sort of picture him as like, um, um, Carrie Stan Stanford, you know what I mean? A little bit, you know, her Stanny. <laughs> so I, I picture them having that kind of groove, you know? So yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for popping Marie. in. Marie. Yes, ma'am. You have a couple of um, people that cannot raise their hand. So I sent you a text with their okay. information. In case Should we have you. Amy come in? Can we am make I, her live? Am I the only Amy? Yeah, I think another? you are. Ooh, with a baby. I, I don't know. I, usually there's like three or four. So How I, are you? Uh, Who's I'm your little person? Uh, this is Michael. And Hi, Michael. Aw, so cute. Oh my God, I remember those days. Now my little baby is going to graduate from college next month. 
Uh, well, my baby, he uh, this he just turned one, and then David turns three on Sunday. Oh, I see David back there now. I see an ear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's back in the corner with his red hair. You're in the thick of it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, thank you for popping in to see us while you're so busy over there. <laughs> Where are you located? Um, I'm right outside of Scranton, Pennsylvania, so okay. I'm not far from York. Okay. Well, kind of far, but not the same Okay. Time. And you uh, um, already read the book, and look, at you've got your hands full, and you've already read the book? <laughs> yeah, I read the book. I uh, finished it yesterday. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, I read it while I'm at work. I oh, work okay. for I was going to say, tell so me you didn't get the kids Benadryl for dinner. I read it while I'm at work. <laughs> They're usually, he usually asleep by now. So I just, this book, I started it on my Kindle app on my phone. And then my mom ordered me the book. So then I was still in between that and then had to correspond back to my phone and then correspond back to the book. I think I, si I signed like, the book for you that your mom, I, I remember the book that your uh, mom bought for you. I signed that and it, 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 I thought it was cute that she had gotten it for you and she was sending it to you. She so. didn't tell me she was getting it for me. I could have had the book done by Tuesday. <laughs> I was off work on Monday and Tuesday, so I could have had it done. Oh, uh, well. Well, I'm glad that you got to finish it. You've got your hands full over there. So I'm impressed that you got it done yeah. so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a struggle sometimes. Do you have a question? Did you say or? Yeah, I do. So I love. So I loved how in all the other sixteen books, within the first two or three chapters, you knew what the what Sam's case at work was going to be and how it tied into her life. And with this one, I was like on the edge of my seat. Like, is this it? Is this it? Is it yeah. no? Is this it no? Yep. yep. There was a couple like, of things. So she had a couple of things that, going on. Well. I mean, I got, you know, I don't blame her for that. She's got other things going on. No, but I'm saying um, she had a couple so, of things at work, a couple of things at work going on at the oh, same yeah, time. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, like, like for the, um, the rape victim and like all of that, it took a little, I like that it was, you know, more a little into the book, a little more, a little hidden in there. Yeah. So yeah. is that, is that how the net, like the rest of the books are going to be, or is it going to be? Go not back necessarily, or not necessarily, but I did discover in the writing of this one that it's going to be possible for me to bring a little suspense into Nick's job too, which I found to be the whole conflict with the Secretary of State and Iran and, and all of that. It was kind of fun to me to, to bring a little suspense storyline into his story too. So, um, but no, there will be, it'll probably be more um, like the fatal books were going forward. Um, where she has an actual, you know, I really wanted to go back to solve Calvin's case. I really wanted her to have the opportunity to do that. Um, they're going to be digging into some of Stahl's uh, former cases. So, um, you know, there'll be some more of that, you know, so it, it's going to be always a lot going on for both of them. But I did find that it was interesting to me that there was opportunities for suspense in Nick's job too. So, which I don't think there was so much with vice president. <laughs> uh, not not so much but I mean I think that the way it like the way the suspense was in this book for him and his job as if it didn't already you know get off to a great start right kind of like plunged into that yeah. situation I do think that we're not, we haven't seen the last of Secretary Ruskin either Ooh. I think we're gonna see more from him Ooh. yeah Excited. so well thank you amy for popping in with your little beautiful children thank you i'm very impressed that you got the book read this week when you have two little ones and a job i, I was impressed too my the last one i had read in two days yeah okay well we're gonna switch to winnell now who's been waiting for a long time i'm gonna unmute you nice to see you amy thank you Oh, um, you, you did talk to me. I just don't know how to get my hand down. Oh, okay. So you're I'm all a winner, Jackson. I mean, I could talk all day, but I mean, no, you can talk to me <laughs> but I couldn't figure out how to get my hand off. But, all um, right. That's okay. No worries. You can come back to me if nobody else wants to talk. All right. I'll oh. definitely come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've got Emma. Um, Emma Roseman. Yep. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm Where calling. are you? Where in the world are you tonight? Prescott, Arizona, which oh. is about an 
hour and a half north of Phoenix and 20 degrees cooler. Oh, wow. So we've had all the corners then. We've got the Southwest, we've got Florida. I'm in the Northeast. We've had Northern California. We've got good coverage and a lot in the middle. <laughs> so, so what's I up really, with you tonight? You read the book? Yes, I love the, I mean, I'm an audiobook fanatic. Okay. So the whole series has just been fabulous on audio. I hear Eva did a knocked it off, knocked the cover off the ball in this one. Um, yeah. I haven't listened to it yet, but I heard that Eva was amazing. Yeah, it's it's great when the narrator can change her voice to be these different people. She's amazing. She and really you is. never get yeah, you never get confused like, well, who's talking? Right. That's you know, so and cool. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I, so, and I was going to say for you, listening to you here, it's like you remember all of these people in your hat, you know, somebody mentions a name and you go, oh, you know. Yeah, I'm waiting. One of these days I'm going to wake up and my brain's going to have leaked out my ear while I was sleeping because I it, there's going to have to be some sort of like blowout eventually, but it hasn't happened yet. I don't know where it all comes from or how I managed to, I don't know, there's a lot of people in there. There's a lot of people at all times. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I, I felt sorry for Freddie when the Mustang died. Oh, yeah. But I was kind of a fun thing to bring in because like, yeah, you gotta figure that was going to happen eventually. Um, oh, yeah. So now, yeah. He's going to be looking for a new car. Yeah. Or is he, or, or he going to get his, you know, um, I know he's always loved the car that uh, Sam drives now mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. had been Nick's. Yeah, but she's still insistent on driving herself. So, um, and she does not want to be showing up to headquarters in a secret service vehicle every day. Like she would, right? Hate even that. though they're, yeah, she even would though they follow that. her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know that um, she has a lot of issues. Um, some of it is real and some of it is perceived by her of um, having a different bar uh, for her than other people in the department because of who she is and who her father was and her relationship with the chief. And yeah. um, so I know that like rolling up to headquarters in the secret service vehicle is um, not something that she would want to do. And also I think we're, we're going to see Ramsey make something of it with the union, um, the disruption, the sheer disruption of it all um, for the rest of the department. I think we're going to see more about that. So yeah. And I hope that uh, Skippy stays going through the stories. Yes, I believe um, Skippy's going to start getting a lot of mail at the White House and um, Sam's going to be encouraged to respond to some of it. And I believe she's going to have a problem with that. <laughs> As you can imagine. Is, is going to develop a little, uh, she's going to develop a little friend by the name of Sam? Um, Sullivan? <laughs> but, well, the dog, I think the dog, I, I want the dog to be like slavishly devoted to Sam and her being like, why? <laughs> so I can sort of picture that, you know, like Scotty is obviously Scotty's dog, but whenever Sam's around, she's like, <laughs> yeah. um, Sam Sullivan is actually here. I know you guys won't be surprised. Where are you, Sammy? Is, can you see him? Am I getting him? No. Not yet. Nope, Sammy. There he is. Oh, yeah. see, I got mine too. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> yeah, he's always wherever I am. My husband says, if you want to know where I am, find Sam. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed so. to be my husband's dog, but he's with me. Uh, cutie. Hi, babe. Hi, baby. All right. So we're going to go okay. on now to nice to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Thanks for reading. Um, so um, who's next, Tia? What do we got? Let's See, we had a few people that were in the chat that I sent over to you. See, Kathy, did we get you, Kathy? No. Hi, Kathy. Okay. Hi. How are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm in Wadsworth, Ohio. Okay. Somebody in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I uh, assume you've read the book. Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, thank you so much. You guys when are I so awesome. What I wanted to comment and what I did in the chat was I see you presenting Sam in a softer side. Um, I know that's hard. Well, let me explain. I see that she seems to be trying really hard to uh, understand Nick's position. And instead of just going forth in a bullheaded manner, she seems to say, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, and I, that that to me was something new 
from our little girl is our little girl is growing up yeah yeah (laughs) I liked it yeah well I think it's interesting too because I feel like if any other person in the world put her in the position that he's put her in she would be not be having it you know she would just not be having it but because it's him she's just like okay (laughs) I'll be first lady (laughs) I'll hate every minute of it, but, but I think also one of the things that happened in the course of this book that I felt also was very important was her realization that she does not have to do this alone. You know, um, yes. like when they were on the tour and Gideon has the, um, the Q and a about, you know, the shoe sizes for the bowling shoes, the sisters are like, we'll take that, you know, and then here comes Shelby to be the social secretary and here comes Celia to help with the kids. And, you know, and Gideon is there to help with everything. And like, she's realizing like, she's like, as the story unfolded, she started to breathe a little bit because she's like, okay, 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 okay. And then if Ronnie comes in as her press secretary, I I think she feels like she's going to be able to handle this, you know? What are you Um, doing out there? That's what I saw. And I really liked that a lot. Yeah. And I think that that was a, that was a progression over the course of this book of her starting to be able to realize, okay, there's a lot of details but I don't have to see to all of them personally. And like the, the decorating, when she, like when they're saying like, it's her call to decorate for Christmas. And she's like, wait, what? You know? like, so um, maybe she didn't have a seizure. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't have a seizure, but um, it, like having um, Tracy and Angela there to say, yeah, we'll do it, you know? So, and I think they'll take on a bigger role. I think they're going to have a bigger That's role right. in the series as a whole. Um, which is good. I think that we want to see more of them. And I I think there's going to be some really awesome house parties too. But I have to say, I love the bit of uh, fun where she got her once again. (laughs) Yeah. I love her her frequent flyer miles at the hospital. (laughs) Yeah. And it has to happen on the day that she's going to see the first lady, you know? Well, she is the first lady. She had a little trouble with that too. She, Gloria is still the first lady to her. So, um, yeah, but no, of course it's going to happen on a very important day and Tracy's got to bring out the war paint once again. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It, thank it you was so marvelous. much. Uh, you kept us, well, kept me on edge as you do with all your books, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. that. And thank I you. do have to say though, you were really ornery about all the teases before it actually came out. Well, all wonderful. let me just say though, the, the, the pre-orders broke all records. So I'm going to be continue to be ornery I did <laughs> in that way. <laughs> we did it. We killed it. We crushed, <laughs> but yes, I mean, but listen, we had all those awesome photos too, which I hope, oh. Tia, I hope Tia and I didn't like blow it by using so many good photos for this one. We had 2,500 photos from that photo shoot. So I don't think we're going to run out of them anytime soon, but I just yeah. think though one of them, you ought to have a picture of Sam after she's been hurt and then with makeup. Or something. <laughs> I know people want me to do like a photo shoot with those two models and the kids. I'm like, what do you guys think of like, like where are they going to get these people? <laughs> you know? But they're good for this one. Yeah, oh, they work for this one for sure. They, they, I really think they sold quite a lot of books. Those two. Oh <laughs> so. yeah. <laughs> all right well, it's nice Leah. to see you thank you for popping in did you um, get leah yet leah um, which one leah leah i haven't yeah. gotten leah yet mave is saying in the chat that the models are awesome thank you for that um i'm gonna go to nancy i see nancy here hi nancy hello hello reader weekend friend <laughs> hello there <laughs> Lenny says hi, but he's banished to the other room because he hasn't finished the book yet. Oh, okay. So Nancy and Lenny are stalwarts of Reader Weekend. So anybody who hasn't been to Reader Weekend but is coming this year will see them there every oh, year. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here he comes. She's got me tied up. Help. Oh, no. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Where's the king to these cuffs? <laughs> it's nice to see you we missed you <laughs> seeing you last year i know but we're know. wearing the go this year we're getting the family back together <laughs> you got it you got it i love posse i think reader weekend's gonna be wild this year <laughs> oh you know it <laughs> we're all like we've been let out of prison you know? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> definitely definitely so you enjoyed the new book 
I loved it. Thank I loved you. it. Thank you. I just want to say my favorite was the formality and the trivia, um, the the funeral. Oh, thank and, you. Um, just the scene with um, Nick, Sam, and Scotty walking up to the to coffin. I could just visualize that, and then them flying on the plane. But I think my favorite was when they were flying back and Sam walked in and Nick was staring out the window. That it just gave me goosebumps. That he's the president of everything he could see. Yeah. And he just said that. And I was like, that was such a transition moment. It was. It was. And You're right. It was. It was it was a visual like of them on Air Force One that now belongs to them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it just it it just kind of set the tone for everything that's going to be going forward to me. I, it was I like think a whole so. different ball game. I hope so. I think it's going to be different, that's for sure. And I liked when Lindsay was on the plane and uh, Terry said to her, "How are you enjoying it so far?" She's like, yeah, "Just another day, you know." <laughs> yeah, but it was, and I think everyone. Like, I want them to have fun with it too, though. I want them to. I want them to have the big house parties and I want them to have like, you know, all their friends on Air Force One because they can and, you know, and like have give everyone the thrill of this, um, you know, this moment that they're all going to get to share. And then we'll have something happen at Camp David, of course. And um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Now, do you, I mean, obviously, I, I mean, I love the fact that she's keeping her job. I think but that's right. You have to. I couldn't. Right. I'd be. You, I can't write her without that job. I'd be. Right. We, she and I would be so bored. So. <laughs> but do you see that there? Is, there's going to be some major conflict. I do. Some, I do. Because... I think that there's going to be trouble. Yeah, I think that there's going to. They're going. To, but you know, I don't think it's going to be trouble in the kind that like she won't be able to keep the job. I think it's going to be trouble that causes trouble for both of them. You know, and but I, I think he doesn't really care. You know, and I, I think that no. that's. The, him not having any F's to give about his political career, uh, you know, and, and I think in some ways that makes him very much like, um, like our current president who this is the epilogue. This is not the start of a big new life. This is the end for him, you know? And I think right. in that way, you know, it, it sort of frees you a little bit, you know, to do things like you have no further aspirations. Let's put it that way, regardless of who, you know, I'm not talking political or parties or anything like that, but if you're at the end of your career or you're at a point in your political career where you've already said you don't plan to run, I think it kind of frees him a little bit to do whatever he wants, you know, and in the sense that he doesn't have to play the game, you know? So I kind of like that setup because things are so polarized in real life that that allows me to kind of have a little freedom with him that I wouldn't maybe have otherwise, you know? So, right. Because right. I don't want it to get overly political. I really okay. don't. And I okay. worked really hard to keep that out of it. Um, I tried to bring in uh, uh, in information right. about presidents from both parties in the past. And like, I tried to keep it really, you know, so okay. yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that you do that too. Very yeah. much. I did get a really nasty letter from somebody um, last week telling me that she will not read any more of the books because she just realized what party Nick is a member of. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's book 17. I, I really, I don't know where you've been all this time. <laughs> uh, seriously? <Yeah. laughs> like in the first book, you know, like we're meeting with the, with the Virginia Democrats. Like, well, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> so, I was like, okay. Okay. It was well, kind of funny to me. I was like, we're on book 17. Right? Okay. 17. Yeah. So anyway, I mean, he's got to be something, you know, so. <laughs> but thank you for popping in and I'll see you in June. You will. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Oh, you me too. Thanks. All right. We're going to go to Sally. <laughs> Sally Lynch. I'm here. Hi, how are you? Where are I'm you? Good. I'm in Rhode Island. Oh, hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Same what part of the island? Warwick. 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 Okay, you're across the bay. Yep. Okay. Yep, across the bay, on the neck. Yes, on um, the neck. So it's pretty so out there. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yes. Um. So I had a, a couple of things, but um. First of all, I, in terms of reading it, I read the whole thing, but I go between reading the ebook and listening to it in the car. Okay. So I have I have both ways, which I love. So That's I'm cool. all about it. Um, so, I, but I do have a question. So I was, and I love the references to the White House. 
because that's it's just something that I've always been interested in. But since the kids are so tiny, so little, young, will you start a school at Slytherin for them? Do you think? Start a what? A school as Caroline? At the Rip no, Kennedy no, no, okay. no, no, I just wondered no. about that. No, they're going to continue to go to the school that they go to. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, that no, was just I'm not going to do a special oh. school for them. That would be, yeah. No, I don't, I don't have the know-how. I'd be like, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> oh, are you there? Thank you. Yep. I'm still here. I hear someone talking. Yeah, I think that there's a couple of that are um, unmuted. So just if you okay. guys aren't, um, if you guys aren't muted, make sure you are. Okay, if you're talking in the background, if you would. Um, so what else did you have? Well, just a couple of things. I, I thought for sure Nelson's death was going to be a homicide. I thought so I, just... I said from the beginning that it wasn't. Okay, um, I didn't see that. I, I never it. intended that to be a homicide. Um, for two reasons. One, um, Sam would not have been the one to investigate that. Um, right. So it, there would have been no point to making it. Um, that would have been a very federal case. That would not have been, uh, <laughs> that wouldn't yeah. have been her. And I just didn't, um, it, having the president be murdered, is just like, you know, it, yeah. it, it, just, it probably like not an inside job like that would be so far outside the realm of believability, you know, like if the president is shot like, outside of the White House, that's something or, you know, something like that happens, but inside the residence, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, the like, suspects would have been limited. You wouldn't have had much, lots of choose. Yeah, and it would have been a suspect. real affront. It would have been an affront to the Secret Service too, which you know I, I'm not really looking to do that, you know, and to undercut them. No. So. And the other thing is, I, I'm so happy to hear that not that that, that Danny didn't have only had food poisoning. I'm glad I know that was like. <laughs> I know there was like so much going on in this, like in the, Sam had a really crazy week. <laughs> so yeah, but I liked that we had a little bit more of them, um, of those yeah, two, um, Gigi and Danny. And what did you guys think of the little twist with Cameron and Gigi? Love it. Yeah. I think it's great. I think that's going to be fun to see how that plays out. I think yeah. so too. So uh, my, can you move the, the state of grace up a little bit though? Do we have to wait till <laughs> December? Seriously, yes, you, do. you oh, no. guys can do it. You didn't think you were going to make it to April and look at you no now. No kidding. <laughs> I agree. All right. I'm all set. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. So nice to talk to you too. I hope Stay to well. see you next Stay year. Weekend. Okay. Bye -bye. Take care. You too. All right. Bye -bye. Melissa, you are up. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I am I am fine. I'm in Indiana. I'm I'm actually not too far from um Lafayette. Oh that's where my um that's where my husband's family's from. So that's I'm, nice to hear. What town in Indiana? A Marion. Marion, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gotcha. Very um, cool. And, yes, very cool. And this is so very cool to be able <laughs> to speak to be to be able to speak to you. Um, I'm so happy to see you. I, do, I, I absolutely just love your, love your writing, love your books. Thank you. Just Thank you. Them. On release You're the best. Day you with, guys are all the best. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And you, and it, and you show that. And that's, 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 that's great. That's great. I still want to um, pinch myself that you guys all like show up like this and on week one, everybody gets the book and like, I can't believe it. You know, I don't know why I, I, I have no clue why you feel that way because you know, I, I we're don't know. Be I, 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 it's still unbelievable to me. I was just telling someone the story this week that, um, about, um, 15 years ago, well, I finished my first book 16 years ago this month. And I started really writing a lot after that. And I had a lot of books and like nothing was really coming of it. And then, you know, little things here and there start to come of it. But always in the back of my mind, I had in the back of my mind that I needed to get to May of 2021 um, with my day job. And then I could maybe become a full-time writer because my son, who's my youngest, will graduate from college next month. Right. So I was thinking as far back as 10 or 15 years ago, I just got to get to May of 2021 and then I can become a full-time writer, you know, because I got to get that kid through college. Right. 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 And right. it happened 10 years earlier than that. So, that's I mean, I still can't, I still can't believe that. Like even after all this time, you know, so, and that's all thanks to you guys. So, well, it cracks me up how you just bite. It's like, you just bite your nails praying. Okay. 
Are they going to like it? Are they going to like it? Well, of course we're going to well, like it. We're going to like do. it. I do. And, and, and you'll laugh too, because there's like 400 reviews on Amazon and four of them, four of them talk about the book being boring. And I'm just like, that's all I could see. I'm like, wait, what? It was? What? <laughs> I know, but listen, there's 350 reviews that are like five star, awesome. This, but right. all I can see are the four right. that are like it's boring, and I'm like, it was. Oh my god, it felt like a tilt a whirl to me. <laughs> yeah, it did. I mean, it's. It, I mean, it's. You know, from from page one, you yeah. know, things were taking off. But you know what I think the reason why some people might have found it that way is I think the stuff that I love is all the little details about the White House. I can see how some people might have found that to be less interesting if you're not oh, into that stuff, you know. I thought that was I thought that was great. And my mom, God rest her soul, she would have loved your books. I know oh, well, she thank would've. you. She loved I hope that books. mine would have too, God rest her soul. She either would be like horrified by the sexiness. No, she wouldn't. She read Judith Krantz. So she wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and Laverle Spencer she was, was one of Laverle Spencer was my, one of my mom's favorite authors, and I know. Oh yeah, mine had was, um, scruples on her bedside table, and like yes. I was, I, I think she would have been able to handle it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, and um, I did make one mistake in the book that I do want to cop to. And that is I switched my Andrews and I had Andrew Jackson as um, Lincoln's vice president and it should have been Andrew Johnson. I was able to correct it in some <laughs> versions. But let me tell you what, this book was 110,000 words. And I realized that like on Sunday and we couldn't correct it in the Kindle version. So I was like, oh, that's like all I could think about was that one word. But I also had, and I know that it was Johnson because I was going to make this thing where he says, you know, what, um, what Johnson did after Lincoln and what Truman did after Eisenhower and what Johnson did after Kennedy. I was going to have Sam say, just don't get a vice president named Johnson, you know, because right. you know, like there was going to be, she was going to make a, almost a little right, joke about right. that. So I knew it was Johnson and, and I still messed it up. So yeah, but I was so mad at myself about that because I knew, like, I, I knew it, but I got, still got it wrong. But anyway, we fixed it in some cases, but in some, it's, so if you see um, Andrew Jackson as Lincoln's vice president, it should be Johnson. So <laughs> I don't think most people would know, but Right. Yeah. History class has been a long time to go for me. I know. So. I know. But I did know that. That's the thing that like, you know how like you make a mistake like that and you're like, oh my God. And I knew that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you know right. what? S-H-I-T happens, right? That's so. right. It does. <laughs> it does. Yes. And but thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It's really a treat to talk to you. It is. It is such a treat to talk to you. You're, 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 you're my favorite. You're my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. And love this, you guys. You guys are so great. I just can't say enough. I appreciate love every, you. Love everything you do. And it doesn't matter what I'm reading when you have a release day, whatever it is. Yeah. It gets put aside and I read, I read you on release day. Always. I am so thankful for that. Thank you. Always. I appreciate it. Always. Thank you. I never, ever take that for granted. You know that. <laughs> I, know you like that. I know you don't. I know I you don't. I don't. I don't. I never do. And I never will. So thank you. And the book, the book was it. Just awesome. It's just. Thank I, you. It, Thanks. It, just, it was just, it was just awesome and lived up to all the anticipation. Oh, well, I'm so glad to hear that. That's really nice to hear. We'll see Although, if we can chill out with the promos next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I like all that stuff. That's I all like Tia's all fault. Stuff. She does that stuff. <laughs> I like all that stuff. I did want to pinch your head off though at the end when you left us with the cliffhanger. Oh, uh, well, I did see that somebody asked if there would always be a cliffhanger. And I have to say that having <laughs> a little cliffhanger certainly does light a fire under you all. So I'm I, telling you, I'm telling you. That, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, That's why I raised my hand. Because I was going to yeah. ask you, like, is that like something that comes to you as you write? Or is that like sweet torture you like to put on us as readers that you I, just trickle both, that in there? Both. I like a little sweet <laughs> torture on my sweet readers. Um, I was at the end of that book, literally, I'm not lying, giggling like a mad scientist fool writing that like oh my god like they're gonna flip out and then I have my very first thought after that is I have to write a little something to kind of cool them off okay <laughs> and I I I love the first I love the first line of your little note 
yes, I really am going to leave it there. Yeah. And then I'm not, but, but don't get mad at me. Okay. <laughs> but like last time with, with fatal fraud, like I said to Julie and Tia and Lisa, I'm like, I have to have the first chapter of state of affairs in there. They're going to come to my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, in that case, I'm like, okay, I have to, but I, we may have a little cliffy. I think it's kind of fun. It kind of, it is, is. it is. It's not, and it's not, nothing that you're like, like so crazed mental, you know, it's not right. like that kind of, right. it's right. just a little it's, like, you know, so it it's, keeps it's, you guys, it keeps you guys, um, it keeps the lights on, you know, as I like to say, it keeps right. you coming it just, back. It's just, it just kind of, you know, at the, what, at the end of, at the end of, um, state of affairs, when, you know, he got, when, um, Eli had gotten the phone call when he talked to Nick and it's like, you know, it's one of those yeah. jaw dropping things, just like fatal fraud. Oh my God. Right. Yeah. But oh that was God. kind of, that was intentional. Cause I, I did want to leave it, um, at a point where everyone was going to want more. So that's always, you always want to oh. keep them wanting more. So but thank you so much. And I just want to ask uh, before we sign off for tonight, if there was anybody else that had any questions or if there were any other hands that wanted to be raised um, to, to pop in while I'm still here and anybody, anybody? <laughs> yeah, there's Linda. Linda had a question and there's a couple more that I- um, Okay, I'm going to go to Aviva, I'm... my good friend Aviva. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. I can't wait for June. I know. I'm so excited. So Aviva is my good friend, Tracy Seppo's mom. And mm -hmm. Tracy is the CEO of Book in Maine. And we were on yesterday on Instagram live together, which I saw you right. popping in, you and my son. <laughs> yes. And your husband. <laughs> and my husband. Yes. I, yeah. It was a family affair yesterday. Which um, I loved. Yeah, so. Which I absolutely loved. Oh, good. Um, you look I just fantastic. Have to say, thank I know you. you. What? You look fantastic. Oh, Thank you. I just um, yes. want to tell you, I, I really want to thank you for, I, I want the suspense in Nick's job. I think that's a great idea once in a while to pop Nick in there with a, with a White House problem um, mm -hmm. and suspense. You know, I, I think that's great. Not to take away from, you know, Sam, obviously, right. but I think that's right. great. I love but there's the opportunity for, for suspense. Out. Yeah, yeah, there's opportunity for suspense in Nick's book. You absolutely, know? Nick's absolutely. And unlike Tracy, I love the suspense. I know Tracy doesn't like suspense. I know, but she does. I make know, but I love it with the romance. Yeah. But the thing that I just wanted to say thank you for was that we've had such a hard couple of years with the angst between the parties. Yeah. And I am so thankful that it's it's you're not putting it about party you're putting it about individual people who they have problems with right and not right. just making it about yeah, i'm trying not to make that I, I really i don't want to make that a central part of the I, i'm just not no. interested in I mean, God, no. none of and us not are, only right? that i think our country has <laughs> yeah none of us of are the, interested in, in a political brouhaha no. you know I mean, no so that's why i feel like um the setup with him having said he's not interested in running for the job, I think it kind of right. frees him and me to kind of keep all that crap kind of over there, you know? Um, right. Of course, right. you know, the party people are going to be after him to change his mind, and that's going to be a constant theme, I think, you know? Um, like the last ones, yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, no, but thank you for that, because, I, I mean, listen, it's not possible to avoid it completely um it wouldn't be realistic to avoid it completely there's going to be battles and this and that and the other thing but I want to try to show it in a sense that um you know maybe kind of like a little less partisan than what a lot less partisan than what we see in real life you know right. so I mean we need a yeah, break it and it's okay to get it and by the way thank you for all the detail in the White House because oh, I've never been to the White House I don't know enough about it you've been doing this your whole life since you were a child and I know I've been that interested in the presidency my whole life I have yeah in a weird yeah. way I was saying yeah. yesterday in the Instagram live that when we used to go to the library I'd check out like presidential biographies when I was like 12 like what a nerd <laughs> right. which I think is amazing but I yeah. yeah I grew up since I'm Tracy's mom I'm <laughs> probably close to what your mom would be now and uh, I grew up when I was in school in the Camelot era uh -huh. of the Kennedys Yep. And they remind me of that. They remind me of that. 
just the young and beautiful and glamorous. And the children and, and the children, none yeah. of the angst between the parties. I mean, there was sure angst, you know, with the the things that JFK, you know, went against and fought against. Right. right. Um, but that didn't bring in the the whole country, you know, arguing right. with each other. Well, I think and we it, all and it, and it also brought in the beauty. And I love that Sam is happy about her clothes. I'm happy about the fact that she gets a great closet. Right, yes. And I think too, like we all realize that the rancor and the fighting basically just kind of leaves us um, out in the cold. You know what I mean? It's yes. not It's not helping yeah. us. So I, I would like to right. see him try to bring community and like, you know, just try to uh, like not be that like a, a divisive president, but kind of, kind of like more of an inclusive. And I want to kind of have outside stuff happening that's going to give him a chance to step into the moment, you know, instead exactly. of it being. Exactly. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, thank you for this. That. I got a couple of other people to get to, but I'm looking forward Bye. to see you in June. Love thank you. you for being here. And I love telling Tracy that I've seen you more recently than she has. And you have. <laughs> <laughs> and you have and I'm I can't right. wait to read about D so thank you okay soon enough yes yeah all right we're gonna go to Erin hi thank you this is a really hi. quick question hopefully I'm from Iowa by the way um hi. so when Nick was picking his vice president he didn't go with um I forget her name I'm sorry because of a feeling that um Sam had, but Sam didn't get to meet the senator that he is going to go with. Was that a deliberate right. choice for her not to have that so, gut reaction to her? Here's the thing. Um, so I don't think that that, that storyline is not complete yet. Mm -hmm. I think that there's going to be more on that before. Um, I think the party is going to weigh in on who they want. And I think that he's, you know, going to have to, there's going to be some back and forth on that. So I don't think we've decided a hundred percent yet. So okay. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned. <laughs> I will. And I do want to address, um, Leah said um, that she said she would probably make an exception for my books. I don't buy or read books with cliffhangers. Please be careful with that. And I do hear you on that. But I would like to just say, like, whenever we have, like, um, we all watch TV shows. We all, like, stream stuff now. It's all the rage and everything. And when a season ends with a little, oh, you know, like, wow, they really going to leave us there. I don't know about you, but I've always um, responded to that. Um, like the who shot JR and the, you know, like the, just the, like a little something at the end to kind of make you go, holy crap, like, I can't believe it. Are we really going to, so it's never going to be the kind of cliffhanger where you want to come to my house, except for maybe the last time you might've wanted to come to my house. But um, I'm trying to make it so that, you know, it's just enough that everybody's like really ready for the next one, you know? So I don't, I, I'm not going to say that they're going to be cliffhanger books. And I don't consider the thing with the littles to be a huge cliffhanger. I include, I sort of think of it as, a kind of a launching pad into the next book more than a cliffhanger. So um, it kind of gives you an idea of where their heads are gonna be in the next book. So I don't want anybody to uh, worry too much about that, um, the cliffhanger thing. I think it'll be a manageable cliffhanger, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, But I do like the way that they really fire everybody up and get everybody like, um, like State of Grace was in the top 100 in the Kindle store yesterday. Like that like hardly ever happens, okay? Like that's a very hard get on release week, let alone when the book's just up for pre-order. So um, I have to say that there's a certain something to be said for that little cliffhanger, <laughs> you know, that little thing that we are all going to be wanting to know more about. So yeah. But um, okay, so I'm going to say, uh, is there anybody else that I didn't get to? Linda, right? Just Linda? Okay, I'm going to go to Linda. Thank you for popping in. Thank you. And um, let's see. Ah. Did you unmute Linda? You have to unmute yourself. I'm unmuted. There you go. There you go. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm in Michigan. The okay. thumb area. Okay, so, the thumb. Yeah, the thumb area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I didn't do this, right? Yes. Uh, I've really enjoyed this book. Honestly, Thank you. Marie, when I finished reading it, my first thought was, this is the best ever that you have written. That, that was my first thought. And then I had to go, okay, 
maybe that's strong because I like all of your books. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you. I felt that there was a little something extra to this one too. Uh, and I think it was because um, I had to do a ton of really in-depth research on the White House to really kind of like make sure that I was getting it right. And um, of course, I don't know for sure that I got it right, but what I'm doing is setting up a world that works for the book, you know? And so um, one of the things, like I said, at the end of the book was the size of his administration and the size of his team and everything. It, it, you're never going to see the full scope of that because it would, it would take all the steam out of the books, you know, they'd be so boring. <laughs> so, um, it, the detail um, that probably, you know, of the trivia that you have given, was just amazing. What I really liked was when she came into the bedroom and he was reading that briefing book <laughs> and um, she was afraid there'd be that fight. Yeah. And he says, is there anything that you see that you like? And she goes, <laughs> the sexiest president. And then he said, Milford, or yeah, Milford. Millard, Phil, um, Millard Fillmore. Millard Fillmore. <laughs> So then I have to share that with my husband that he was the sexiest, <laughs> considered a sexy president, to which, of course, then I had to look it up. So it's been not, very he's not sexy. <laughs> he goes, he looks like a fat Alec Baldwin. <laughs> or maybe a chubby Alec Baldwin. But, you know, I had to look them up and what was said about them. So it, it was neat because it took me other places also. Yeah, um, it, it totally was fun. enjoyed it. Was it was fun to like, you know, bring in. And then I liked too when, um, when they were at the White House the first night when she said, look, um, same marriage, different house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bed squeak. <laughs> yeah, the bed squeaked. Yeah, they found that out. But. But um, I like that that she that I thought that was an important thing for her to say, like same marriage, different house, you know. So, yeah. Well, thank you for popping in. I loved hearing your thoughts, and I'm gonna um give one other person here. We've got Arlena, so we'll give uh, we'll say hi to her, and um thank you for popping in. Um, let's see. I'm gonna ask her to unmute. Okay. Thanks for having me. Hi. It took me a long time to find a hand raise. Oh, <laughs> I think you're a good writer, and I like the the like I put I like the Nick and it Sam some how to how to work this. I think they're a good couple. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Thanks a lot. Thanks for popping in. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm glad that you're here. Um, so I'm going to say good night, unless there's anybody else who was desperately wanting to pop in. Um, if you did, please say so in the chat right now. Um, but I really want to thank everyone who came and said hello to me. And um, we're going to um, we're going to be uh, putting this on um, Facebook. And we're also going to be giving away um, the uh, first family box to one of the people that participated tonight. And we're going to be um, giving away um, a couple signed copies on the Facebook page too. So um, watch the um, Facebook um, feed of this and we'll put some winners in there tomorrow. So, um, or probably we'll do it Monday. I'm sorry, we'll pick uh, winners on Monday because I do give my girls a, a day off every now and then tomorrow, Saturday. <laughs> All my days are running together this week. But again, Love. I want to say, a huge thank you for an amazing re release week, um, the best ever. So um, we're going to all have to try to top this one next time. Um, so thank you so much for the chat tonight and for all the excitement this week and the reviews. Um, I really do look at the reviews and I appreciate them all. Um, even the people who said it was boring, um, <laughs> the four people who said it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thanks a lot, you guys, for um, all the support in my books and for making me a full-time author 10 years sooner than I thought was going to happen. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys. And, um, and I even appreciate the people who give me the one-star reviews because I, I know that it's a, a big deal to uh, decide to buy a book and, um, and to commit to a series like this, especially 17 books. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you on Facebook. Take care. <laughs>